So um, I've been doing a lot of reading lately. Uh, a couple of my colleagues and I are taking a class at the YWCA on unraveling racism. And it's led to a lot of um, historical articles about Milwaukee and our uh, deep-seated segregation and, and racism that we have. And about the same time, I'm doing a lot of thinking, and I decided to go back to look at some of the early newsletters of the co-op, like back to our beginning, 1960s into the 1970s. And what appeared was this similarity in culture. Like the world in the 60s going into the 70s is very much like the world that we're living in today. There are, are strong cultural similarities, there's strong political similarities. The, the division that exists at the time is very similar to the division that we may all be experiencing today. And when Mark posed the question, you know, why bother? Why does this matter? I thought, well, it mattered to us to create the co-op. It mattered to us at the very beginning. So what is it about that time that should continue to matter to us now? So I was looking back um, at the cultural differences and how some of the, the struggles for equal rights, the struggles for um, equal pay, um, the marginalization of, of different people and cultures, you know, we, we've got those similarities today. And when, when my co-op started, when our co-op started, those were the issues they were thinking of. Now, they came together over food. And sometimes, you know, food is the only thing we talk about. It's the primary focus of conversation is what we're selling, what we're doing, what we're changing. You know, how are we doing it differently now? What's the latest innovation uh, related to food? And as some of us discussed at tables today, that can sometimes stand in the way. You know, culturally, as a natural and organic food organization, we've already eliminated people from coming to the table. We've already said, well, maybe we're not open to everybody because not everybody eats the way we eat, and the way we eat is right, right? The way we eat is better than anyone else. And I wondered if that's how my co-op began. I wondered if that was the beginning. And so looking back over those early articles, I found that it wasn't the beginning. Uh, we named our business Outpost Natural Foods because we wanted to be an outpost, like the old frontier. And not necessarily because this is where you could go shop for food, because it was an exchange of ideas. It was about people coming together. It was about, at that time in that culture, a safe haven for people who felt like they weren't included in their community. So when I think about what made us unique back at the beginning and what makes us unique right now, there are a lot of similarities. There are great reasons that we should be coming to the table and talking about this. Uh, last night, uh, I had an amazing opportunity, as did Angel, to attend the um, NAACP's Freedom Dinner. And Outpost has been a sponsor of the Freedom Dinner for the past five years. We've had a table there. We've rotated uh, between board members and uh, staff members and managers to have a seat at the table. And of course, last night's dinner is right before a big election. So right before a big election, the topic kind of sways towards the election and the fact that, that people should get out and vote. Um, our keynote speaker was Tamika Mallory, the national co-chair for the Women's March. Uh, she's involved in the Black Lives Matter movement. You know, she's, she's been kicked off uh, American Airlines flight for very uh, poor reasons, et cetera. But what a firecracker and what a, an inspiration to hear her talk about some of the things that have, have crossed my mind. And especially going into, I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place, especially going into this time of year when we're getting together with our families. And you get together with your families and some of us don't talk politics right? We don't talk politics because our families maybe don't align politically with each other. Uh, we've often not talked religion because sometimes, you know, we have atheists sitting at the table with us and, and don't want to, want to bother. Well, she last night said when she was growing up, um, they didn't talk politics. It wasn't something that they were supposed to do. 
and they didn't really talk about race because it wasn't something they were supposed to do. Well, I say, I think it's something we're supposed to do. I think it's something we're supposed to do today more than ever because what our co-ops were able to do back in the 70s when we began is the same thing that our co-ops can do today in this era, and that is bring people together to the table as we. So that's, that's where my mind has been, and I think it's really important that we continue to have those conversations. That's it. <laughs> yep.